What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Hyperlight Drifter. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here today. I am back. I'm finally back from my weekend abroad, out of town, and you'll have to forgive me. There's going to be a little bit of a runway on this episode, so I haven't played the game in about a week. So if my skills are not quite where they seem to be previously, you now know why. It's been a while since I played last. You know that feeling you get when you leave for like a week and then you come back and you continue a game you haven't played for a while? And your skills just don't feel on? Oh my god, there's little pedestal thingies everywhere. Oh my god, and there's nasty little buggy beasts everywhere too. Alright, well let's get rid of the little snotlings for right now. Because I'm not down with those gits. I don't recall exactly what we were working on. I vaguely remember working on... Oh, you sir are gonna get dealt with. And then you guys down here... Yeah, I was going to say, I'm about to go in on those, but it did not work out the way that I wanted. Ooh, no, I've been punched in the face. Okay. Luckily, we've got the med kit upgrades, so we've got lots of things going on. It should be easy enough to get ourselves rolling here. I'm going to keep an eye out for secret areas along the way, but yeah, it's been like a week since I played the game because I had to go out of town for a while and was sleeping in hotels and all that kind of fun stuff for a little bit, so you'll forgive me. But there might be a brief period today where it seems like I don't know what I'm doing. That's just because... I'm reacquiring my skills as, oh my god, there's so many of them, and on that thin little, I should have shot him. I should have shot him, that would have been the smarter idea. I've got the shotgun on me and everything, and I just did that a way that I probably shouldn't have. I'm gonna get rid of you, oh shit, we got like a security system over here. Alright, you fire over there, I'm gonna run right past you though, because I don't like you like that. I'm gonna try and get out of the way of that security system, and then I'm gonna get shot right in my face. Because that's the way that I do business here at the Nerd Castle. As I recall, in previous episodes, we were hanging out, trying to activate... We were in some kind of dungeon where there was, like, floaty eyeballs and all kinds of weird disembodied mechanical body parts or something like that. It looked like a chop shot for robotic cyborg human beings or something, and it needed to be rectified. There was lots of eye puns, there were many things about ICU, Sauron jokes, all that fun stuff. Alright, go ahead and shoot your load at me, it's fine. I'm gonna swing around to this side here, and that's opened up a path down south. I don't precisely know what we're working towards. I know that we were in a zone where things were, oh my god, he's got missiles. I forgot about Missile Boy over here. And when people fire missiles at you, I tend to just like panic. I need this right here. Oh, wow, okay. So that's going to open up a secret pathway over here on the eastern side, but it looks like that's mostly just for little secret shiny treasures. It doesn't look like... It looks like there's a little cat's head right there. It looks like there's half a cat's head on the floor, but it's alive and it's extra cute. Just because it knows, as a cat, it's got to make up for the fact that half of its cute little parts are gone. Who's done that to a cat? I don't know. It's a terrible thing to do. It's not a nice thing to do. I saw a post on Reddit the other day. Oh, my God. This lady was like, I got home and my bro my boyfriend researched how to kill my guinea pig and then murdered it and then hid the evidence and shit. Like, I was like, oh my god, who does that? And she was like, what should I do? And I, I don't think you need to ask this question. You need to get out the house right now. This boy's gonna kill you. You better run. That's some real psycho level stuff right there. That's on some Patrick Bateman stuff. He researched how to kill your pet, killed it. Made up an excuse and then hid the body after you got home so that you couldn't, like, verify the story. He just, like, got rid of it and cleaned up after it. Eh, you need to get out of the house. This dude's fitting to kill you. Don't make him angry, though. There's something right here. I can tell. I can always tell where there's a secret in this game. I can smell it. I can smell it through the walls. Oh, a tablet thingy. Did I already light this up? I must have already lit this one up. That's the other part that we're going to run into here is that, unfortunately... It looks like I need to go northwards, and then we've got a boss in here, too. We are on the final map, I think, and then after this, I'm assuming it's going to open that thing in the center of town. Once that opens on up, my guess is that it's going to take us to some kind of boss fight, or something along those lines, or some kind of boss dungeon, maybe, kind of the Dr. Wily's castle, where we'll probably be up against all kinds of challenges. Yeah, I was going back right here. That's okay, though, because that gave me a nice little warm-up. How do I get to that? That looks like it's already been flicked, though. It has. That hath already been flicked. Hell hath no fury like a dungeon flicked. Oh, please don't give me a boss fight right after I came back from vacation. I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm like 80% sure I can't handle it. Oh, he's got missiles. I don't like the missile guys. They are terrifying. 
I was going to try and get him with a strong strike right there, but it just didn't go that way. That's a... Oh, shit. No. Missiles. Ah! Lasers on that side. Missiles and lasers and claws. Oh, my. I don't like this. It's kind of a rough day for the Hyperlight Wizard. He's going to shoot a missile, which is going to kill his own little homie right there. Which I'm actually pretty okay with. I just don't want him to be alive anymore. Ah, uh, I think they got me twice right there. Yup, got me twice. Wasn't paying attention. Caught me slipping. And now I'm dripping blood from all of my... I don't know. Ah, no! My... Oh, dude, come on. Don't... Just let me... For once in my life, just let me escape unscathed. That's all that I want. I know that I've got a big supply of med kits right now. Ugh, I thought I could get that one off too. But the delay. There's like a minimum amount of time you gotta wait after a strike before you can dash. Can I just go through that door right now? Like, do I have to deal with this? That's a big robot, by the way. What are you guys planning on doing with that robot? That robotski over there has got me kind of worried. Why is this guy sweating? I guess I did just murder a whole bunch of his friends. I'd probably be sweating too if I just watched the murder of a bunch of things that look like me. Oop, I just teleported into a wall too. Skills is... I think I probably could have just gone through there whenever I wanted to. I bet there's a med kit right here. And seeing as we could use one, what is that on the floor? What's on the flow? Some just came up out of the dirt and tried to grab my ankle when I picked up that med kit. <sighs> Gropey things. They're going to make me fight a boss right after I got back from my vacation. I know it. Right when my skills are the softest. That's going to open up. Yeah, I was going to say it looked like it was probably going to do that. I'm going to check this wall right here. And then this right here looked like it might have something for us, but it didn't. What is happening right now? Oh, my God. Things are, like, moving and teleporting and being all scary and... Not much being friendly to me. I'm going to try and stay on top of these platforms that are extending. Because at least I know those aren't going to fall out from underneath my feetses. What are those? Those blinky things on the ground. Oh, when the camera moved I thought maybe we found a secret. I love the exploration. Like the exploratory aspects of this game. So fantastic how there's always something to look for and there's always something to fiddle with and there's always like a corner you can be plumbing. I love that stuff. It's absolutely great. I'm going to pick this guy up because we are missing some health. So it should just use the med kit on me when I pick it up. Oh, there's music. What does he do? So he's got like a shieldy thing. Ow, and then he punches in my face. Okay. Well, he doesn't lead me though, so oh, I was going to try and I was going to try and bull joust him right there. I think that was an unwise decision though. Ow. Okay. Don't run into giant pink balls. That's what I learned today. Don't ever run into giant pink balls. Oh, God. He makes the floor disappear. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Like, that's really not good in a lot of terrible ways. Ow. Jesus. So, I need to be away from him every time he does that. There we go. Chop his ass in half because he don't know me like that. And then I'm going to take his coins because what has... Well, I'll leave him one coin so that he can place it on his eyes so that he can pay the boatman. When you arrive at the River Styx, tell them the Hyperlight Drifter sent you and he is coming. I feel like I've got the flair for the dramatic today. That actually wasn't so bad. The last couple bosses haven't been terrible. They felt like mini bosses. We've got, ooh, good stuff over here. Let's go ahead and open that on up. And is that the fourth one right there? It is. We finally completed our little pink diamond. 
Nor yeah, I was gonna say, normally around now is when he starts hyperventilating and freaking out. With dreams like that. Apparently we're searching for a cure. I was looking at some of the achievements and stuff, and that's actually why we're- oh my god, that thing looks friendly. That's why we're in this dimension. Like, we were teleporting around looking for a cure for whatever our disease is, hoping that if we could get to the bottom of the technology or something, it would heal us. They haven't explained that incredibly. I figured our character was just, like, sick, or maybe it was just a side effect of us traveling here. But one of the achievements was called searching for a cure or something like that. Let me go ahead and open this on up. That'll get us closer to another coin, too. There's nothing back up in there, but we've got enough med kits to really be in okay shape. As long as I can pull my shit together here. We've got more sting beasts on this side. There were a bunch of localities out here that I'd wanted to investigate, but it was difficult to tell. I think we've got a zone boss fight right now is what I think. Like, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to deal with whatever's in charge of this area. we got to figure out how to get to him. Okay, so the pedestals are still up. So we're not able to do that. However, to the east there's still one more little power conduit. And it looks like if we go south down here, we might be able to go around. Let's go check that out. We're kind of in a weird point right now where I can't remember what I've activated or what I've done in this zone. But if we spend a little bit of time on it, and we use the resources that the game has given us, like our map and all that kind of stuff, I think we should be able to piece it all together. That one takes eight. And so going all the way around is not going to be an option right there. That guy hit himself under a big-ass box. Like, nope, cardboard box. Cardboard box of safety. You don't know me. There were a couple of areas in here that we might be able to verify. Like, there was a little stairway area, and there were some other little things, too. Like, I know there was a platformy thing right here. And that remains activated and up, so we can't go that way either. It's alright, we'll sort it out, but... Hmm... Many, many questions about where we need to be right now. Let's just start going down elevators. One thing at a time, we'll start verifying locations and trying to figure out what it is that we've missed. Because it's obvious that we've missed something here. This feels familiar. This is where we just were. And it looks like if I go this way, we've still got something that's unactivated over there. And then we've also got another boss fight that hasn't been locked down, and there's a teleporter, but that's up above ground, so let's do a little bit of backpedaling here. We've got a single shard door, which I think we've already gone through. But I don't know why that would be back up if we've already been through it. Yeah, we've already definitely been down here. Because the switches are flicked and all that kind of stuff. And I do remember going through a single shard door. That was how we started the zone out. Is we ran around and there was like one single power conduit thing we had to activate in order to get through that door. Which took us to all the other ones. This is going to be the eyeball room as I recall. I am missing a med kit. So I'm going to go ahead and jack that real fast.
We go south right here. And did I check this out already? I did. Checked it out like a library book. Do people still go to the library anymore? I don't even know if that's necessary now that we have like Amazon and all that kind of stuff. I can get books for like 85 cents and shit. So if I can avoid being shot at, I think this is where I want to be over here. And I don't recall what challenge was in the way and keeping me from going this direction. It's possible there's a door back here that I wasn't able to access at the time, and so I just bypassed it and went to the west. We'll have to go back and re-verify that, though, and check it out. Yes, I know. You're very grumpy with me. Thank you. Yep. You're securing the area. Oh, what a good security system you are. I'm so impressed by your latent ability to secure. This was the room with the murder bot thing. With those little thingamadoobies that followed him around. And then we needed to go right from here. That's already been activated, but I'm really feeling good about this area on this side. I really sincerely am. We also need to go back to town at some point, and I suppose a good spot to do that would have been a minute ago. There was that other mini-boss that we killed, too. And I do remember coming from this direction. Mm. Oh no, I need to go right. Although, did this actually... Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't think that was a zone transition or anything like that. So there's an elevator right there. Where does this one go? Let's re-verify real fast. If it pops me out anywhere interesting. Ah, it took me back up, okay. And since we know we've got a missing thingy over here. Oh, there was a gap right there, okay. Mind the gap. We're kind of in dungeon crawler water temple mode right now where we gotta figure out what it is that we've missed along the way. That indentation back there looked a little suspicious, hold on. Okay. It's not very often. Most of the most of the maps in this game seem to follow like geometrical shapes and things of that nature. So I just figured I'd look. We need to go up and to the right. Oh man. Get my ass whooped by security systems. Luckily we've got refills right there, so no harm, no foul, no damage done. And we needed to go right from right here in order to get to that other thing. So the question remains, how do we go right? My assumption is that maybe there's one of those little invisible thingamadoobies over here. Nothing right there. Then again, the map is not, like, perfectly representative either. Like, you're on the map in, like, a random location. And while the map looks like the place it's portraying, your location can be a little bit difficult to lock down sometimes. So we'll just have a couple little looks around and see what we can do here. Ah, bad guys. That's a... Oh, he was hiding behind the wall. Not even mad at you, little buddy. Not even ma Oh, that was my fault for swinging too early. Swinging way too early. It's not even 5 o'clock yet, and we are swinging. Ow, and getting shot in the face. Oh, really? That's a dead end over there, huh? Okay, well, maybe we do this then. Oh, no. 
It's a death bot, which is now dead, by the way. Hey, we got a we got a coin. I like money. Money's cool. A little bit of death dispensed for him. Ow. Oh shit, that's not good. Ooh, got you all though. You came in this room thinking that you were gonna be hot shit. You'd be like, nope. I got the squad with me, and I was like, squad can't save you. I got charge sword, son. Charge sword. Dealt with. Okay, so there's another door right there that we haven't been inside of. And right here we've got what looks like a secret teleporty thing. I had my suspicions. Oh, we've got one of the little tablet thingies. Apparently the tablet, somebody spoiled this in the comments, and I'm not like mad about it or anything, but I just use the word spoiler like that. I guess that if you don't know what it does, it unlocks an outfit. And so after you get all the tablets, I guess it makes you look more fly by giving you some kind of like Nike outfit or something. I don't know. Oh, that's not good. I was going to say, I don't remember where the platform was. I can kind of like piece it together, but I wasn't totally sure. Let's open this door up and see where this leads us because this is going to be a new place for us. I'm like 80% sure. Oh, damn, we just got flashed on so hard with the rocket launcher and no remorse, too. That's the really upsetting part is he could have been remorseful, but he chose. He was like, nope. What is that right there? There's something right there. Was there anything over there? I don't think I can teleport to that. That's too far. It's too far and it's too much effort. Yup, that's what I thought. That's what I was thinking. got to kind of light that back up though. I'm going to get rid of all the explosives before I even go out here. These explosives tend to get me in trouble. Their relative fire and forget nature makes my job very difficult. And when my job is stabbing things and not dying, I prefer for my job to go very, very easily. Little junk bots are no problem for us. How do we access that? It's probably like one map over or something. So I'll probably concern myself with it a little bit later. It's just one coin anyways. Yeah. Single coin. Blow all those guys up the easy way because I don't feel like fighting them the hard way. Duck out of the way of that little... Murderous machination. Ow. We will follow that around. Wait, was there another one? Oh. Apparently there was another one. And it led us to free stuff. Yay for free stuff. Who doesn't love free stuff? Everybody loves free stuff. I can't recall. Oh, it just took me like around the horn. I got you. And then I should be able to just make that with my natural jump. There's still a coin up there that we haven't really like locked down yet. I'm going to use a med kit very, very quickly because I'm a tad worried about my health situation. But other than that, I'm glad we found our way to the right path. That was what I was a little bit worried about today when I sat down and I was like, I'm going to play Hyper Light Drifter this afternoon. Morning. Whatever the shit time it is. You need to stop that, sir. You need to stop that right now. You and your little friends. Perfect. We'll shoot out right there, and then we'll refill the weapon energy. And then I'm going to stop right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for the next episode of Hyper Light Drifter, where we are going to hang out for a little bit. 
and play this super awesome little indie title. I'm gonna corner trap those guys. I will see you all in future episodes of Hyper Light Drifter because believe me, I don't think it's going anywhere. I like the game enough to where I want to finish it. I know there's been technical issues galore and, you know, I was thinking about canceling it just based on those. But let's just finish. Yeah, let's just finish. I'll see y'all later. Hi to everybody.